Okay, so almost no one remembers that Fortnite released a skin that was so broken, they had to instantly remove it. These are 20 times Fortnite had to ban items. To start, how about a pickaxe that makes your footsteps completely silent? The Riot Control Baton from the Star Wars collaboration had a big glitch where your footsteps were completely silent. No one could hear you while you were using them. You could walk up behind anybody and one pump them. And really quickly, players started abusing this. So Epic had to remove it and fix it, but it actually Actually happened again just recently with the dragon rune lance pickaxe now this one is crazy okay this was in an infinite item glitch in fortnite now i'm not sure exactly how it worked but from what i heard if you got revived right as you took fall damage all your consumables in your inventory would infinitely multiply whatever you had you could infinitely drop it and it created for some pretty bizarre moments but obviously epic had to really quickly fix this because it could have broken the servers okay so this one's actually a pretty interesting one the orbital abductor pickaxe was actually considered pay to win because it was reactive to sound it would actually change if there was any sound nearby including emotes or even players even if they were crouch walking and being very quiet you could see the pickaxe react to their movement once players figured this out everybody was using it as kind of like a mini radar and epic actually had to ban it from competitive playlists items aren't always just pay to win when they bug out sometimes they're pay to lose in this season there was a back you can get called the bushy ball back bling that you would get after completing some season quests but as soon as the players completed the quest in their next games the game would be completely unplayable laggy and even straight up crash so epic ended up removing it from everyone's lockers and fixing it by the next update this chapter also got an exotic band and i'm kind of upset about this one because i really liked the dual pistol exotics but of course with chapter three season one we got the spider-man mythics and there was a big bug where if you use the dual pistol while swinging you could infinitely jump and just float in the air hundreds of meters above the sky as players start to abuse this epic actually remove them from the game and prevented npcs from selling the exotic pistols and that's not the only item that was accused of being pay to win if you guys remember mystique's built-in emote let you transform into other characters and well it's kind of true because you could transform into an npc and pretend to be them as mystique but i guess enough videos got made of people trolling as mystique pretending to be NPCs that they removed the ability to turn into NPC skins in chapter three. Now, if you try to do that, you just turn into a default, which honestly I'm kind of disappointed with because I mean, what's the harm in trying to pretend to be an NPC? Chapter three actually had a lot more glitches than I remember because there was a way to heal in the storm permanently. If you ran up to a campfire in the storm and your health was exactly 97, and at that moment you drank a guzzle juice and timed it perfectly, it would start to heal you at the same time that you took storm damage and it would infinitely heal you while you were in the storm players started abusing this to get free wins and epic had to remove the guzzle juice from all competitive playlists even back in chapter one there were items that had to be removed there was a weird bug where people could actually enter god mode while using the shadow stones not only would they be completely invincible they could actually use guns against you while being invincible which was super broken thankfully epic addressed it pretty quickly and a lot of people forgot about it now one of the coolest things in my five years of playing fortnite was getting my own locker bundle seeing my name and the item shop was honestly insane but there was a moment where someone got a locker bundle and it completely broke the game when squatting dog had his locker bundle in the shop and his fans bought it including the hot rod glider it would actually cause their games to crash so unfortunately they removed his bundle from the shop but eventually returned it once it got fixed in chapter two we got a brand new map and a lot of big additions including water being able to swim and use boats but for some reason the boats had a massive problem if you went over the edge or over a waterfall with the boat sometimes the boat would just continue to fly and not fall down or be affected by gravity and it created for some pretty funny videos epic was forced to vault the boats and fix them before they returned and it doesn't stop there with the boats there was a time where boats got permanently removed from the competitive playlist and this happened in season 8 chapter 2 when people found out that you could shoot the boat rocket way faster than intended by hopping out of the boat and hopping back in in between every single shot allowing you just to spray your enemies with rockets it took us eight seasons to figure this one out but once we did people started abusing it so much that they removed it from the competitive playlist now epic won't just remove items from competitive modes sometimes they remove entire ltms and that's what happened with the tag 
LTM. Epic added a mode where players were it and they had to tag other players with a pickaxe and it was pretty much a pickaxe only mode but people figured out that if you got rebooted you would actually spawn back in with a pistol so you could tag people from across the map using a pistol and that's pretty broken so they just ended up removing the mode completely. Now all these so far have happened for pretty explainable reasons but this one is a little bit more sus. When Epic added the bear hug emote and I think we all know where this is going party royale was a little too crazy because if you crouch down while using this emote with another player it would create some pretty interesting results um Okay, so let's move on from that one. Next up, we have tents. And there was a lot of bugs with tents. In chapter three, we got brand new loot pool and we're missing out on the scar and the pump. But somehow people figured out how to load into old LTMs and tent OG items like the scar and the pump. And we actually got to try this out ourselves and it was pretty fun. But eventually Epic ended up making it impossible to tent those old items. But here's something Epic didn't want to ban but was forced to, sand tunneling. This was a big highlight of chapter two, season five because the entire middle map was supposed to feel like a dynamic spot where people could use the sand to rotate however there was a glitch with sand tunneling that would allow you to be completely invisible so epic had to disable it right before their winter vacation and because of that timing sand tunneling was vaulted for 38 days pretty much most of the season we couldn't sand tunnel now for some reason pickaxes seem to always break and there's a lot of pickaxes on this list so there's this pickaxe from the team titans collab called bb's beast bat and for some reason this thing just had a way longer range than the other pickaxes you could hit people from like eight feet out because of this it was completely banned from all competitive playlists just like the bash burner pickaxe this one for some reason just swung much faster on its second and third swings so epic had to remove this one from competitive as well but who could forget the king of pickaxes the star one pickaxe this one doesn't need an intro it was doing 56 damage and 84 damage headshots back in season x it was completely broken next up we have one of the most powerful combos and that happened in chapter two season seven when epic added the recon scanner and the rail gun right when they dropped people discovered this was the perfect combo it was so easy to use the recon scanner and then headshot somebody through their builds with the rail gun and who other than the pro players to really maximize this there was a few cash cups where they were able to use the recon and rail gun and it was a disaster epic ended up removing them from competitive because they thought it was too powerful and the last pay to win skin before the finale is iron man himself in season four every battle pass skin had a built-in emo and for iron man it was his transformation from tony stark to iron man but people found out if you used a disguise booth and then transformed it would actually make your entire body invisible and people had a lot of fun with this before it got removed and now for the most bizarre skin in fortnite history everyone thought it was just going to be another update in season six maybe a couple items a couple interesting changes but then i noticed i got a new edit style for the suki skin and i went to check it out and it was completely white it was pretty much an unfinished texture and this is really powerful especially in build mode because it would help you just be transparent i only got to play a few games with the skin before it was completely removed from everyone's locker if you guys like this video check out this video about forgotten items in fortnite history